Cooking is great. Screwing up a dish, not so good. Burning food at the bottom of your pan, disaster. Stick around and I'll show you the quickest and easiest way to clean your pots, pans, and casserole dishes. What you just watched was the introduction to a video I made way back in March of 2011. It was actually one of the first cleaning videos we uploaded here on YouTube, and in it, I demonstrate an effective way to clean the inside of a burnt pot or pan using dish liquid and baking soda. It's a great trick, and as you can see, it keeps my pans looking like I never, ever burn food in them. However, the other side of the pan? That's a different story altogether. The bottoms of my pans are covered in scorch marks because clearly I'm a great cook. So today we're going to clean them and we're going to try four different methods to clean them using ketchup, barkeeper's friend, cream of tartar, and baking soda. We'll be cleaning four pans, all of which could do with a good cleaning. Two of them are stainless steel and the other two are cast iron. The sponges that we'll be using for all of the tests are specifically non-scratch sponges. We'll kick things off with the ketchup, or catsup, depending where in the world you are. I read that it's the acid in the ketchup which aids in the cleaning process, so we'll see how that one works. Next, we'll apply some Barkeeper's Friend, which has been around since 1882. It's a powdered cleanser and it essentially specializes in cleaning scorch marks. Okay, that's not entirely true, but it's really good stuff. Now we'll use some cream of tartar. I made a video a while back that shows how great cream of tartar is at removing those marks on plates. However, I'm interested in seeing how this stuff does on these pan bottoms. And we'll wrap it up with some baking soda, a perennial favorite here at Clean My Space. I'm not sure how baking soda works, but I know it involves magic. Okay, we'll let that sit for a minute, and while that's happening, I did want to mention that I read on the internet that there are more than a few people who suggest using oven cleaner to tackle these scorch marks. I chose to exclude this method because it can actually void the warranty on your pan, and I'm not down with that, especially when you're spending good money on your pans. The ketchup didn't do much. I'm pretty sure I applied it correctly and scrubbed it enough to establish that it would take me a long time to clean the whole plan using ketchup. On a scale from 1 to 10, ketchup gets a meh. It was very impressive how well Barkeeper's Friend did. It cleaned everything away, including the stuff the ketchup left behind, and it did it really quickly. Barkeeper's Friend gets a very impressive. Cream of Tartar did a boring, average job. It did a better job shining the stainless steel pan than actually cleaning away the scorch marks. So it's brighter, but it still has all those stains. Cream of Tartar gets a boring. Kind of like a bad first date. Finally, the baking soda. Of course it did a really great job on both the stainless steel and cast iron pans. Baking soda gets a really great and a check for 12 bucks. But I gotta hand it to Barkeeper's Friend. The baking soda did a really great job, but in this case, this stuff here did an outstanding job. So I'm asking you, Clean My Space Nation, should I do more tests with Barkeeper's Friend? Let me know in the comment box below. I did want to take this opportunity to point out that you might not be able to remove scorch marks, and in the case of this pan, which I purchased from a thrift store specifically for this video. None of the methods that we just tested worked on the bottom of this pan. And trust me, I gave it all the grease my little elbows had to offer. So the moral of the story, some pans cannot be saved, and this is one of them. This right here is a comment box, and you can use it to let us know what your cleaning questions are. Just fill it in and maybe we'll answer your question in an upcoming video. There's a button down there that lets me know you care, so click it if you like this video. This right here is a subscription button, and when you click it, magical things happen. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.